Welcome to Xara Template Tutorials for the Xara Web Designer software. This is lesson number two, and in this lesson, we're going to talk about a new feature in Xara Web Designer 11 Premium. And the new feature that we're going to talk about is called Web Sticky. And basically, what that means is that if you place an object or image in your web page, it's going to stay in a relative fixed position in reference to your browser window. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you want to do is open up either a blank new document or open up an existing website. So once you have that open, let's go ahead and move forward. The first thing that I'm going to do is actually create an object. Again, you could have created an image if you wanted to and placed it in your workspace as a uh, fixed or web sticky object. But in this case, I'm just going to create an object and use that as a web sticky. OK, so let's go ahead and go to our toolbar here, create a rectangle. And I'm going to go ahead and hit Control E and change the color. And that's a good color, I think, there. The next thing I'm going to do is add some text. Once we have some text, I'm going to go ahead and change that to a different orientation so that it looks proper with the button. In this case, I'm also going to change the size of that text to be a little bit bigger. And I might change the font as well to give it a more bolded look. And once you have some text in a rectangle, let's go ahead and select over both of these objects by dragging and selecting over both of them and hitting Control G to group both objects together. So now we have our uh, object here and we're going to turn this into a web sticky object. So let's go ahead and right click on that and select web sticky and stretchy. And that brings up the web sticky and stretchy properties. And you'll notice that it says sticky objects appear in front of the main page content which I also uh, mentioned in a previous tutorial. However, there are exceptions to that rule and there are situations where you can make the web sticky object appear behind your main page content. In other words, it would appear behind the text that you have on your web page, the buttons that you have on your web page, that kind of thing. So it's not going to be in the forefront of your content. It's going to be in the background of your content on your web page. Okay. So hopefully that makes sense. If it doesn't, leave a comment and I'll do my best to help you understand that a little bit further. So with that being said, let's go ahead and select the sticky option here. And let's go ahead and hit apply, hit close and hit F5 to preview the results. OK, so as you can see, we have the Twitter button here up in the upper left hand corner of our screen. And if we scroll up or down, you'll notice that that object stays in a relative fixed position in reference to the web browser. So it always stays at the top part of the web browser. Now let's go ahead and close this out. If you wanted that object to sit further away from the top of your web page, you could. If you just bring it down a little bit more, if we hit F5 to preview it, you'll see that the object now sits further away from the top of the web page. And if we scroll up or down, that object is going to stay in that position. OK, so it's going to stay approximately the distance that we see here away from the web browser window. So if we scroll up or down, the distance of that button from the web browser window is always the same, no matter where you scroll up or down. OK, and the distance from left to right also remains the same, no matter where you scroll up or down. The next thing that I want to show you is that if you take this Twitter button and place it outside of the main page workflow, uh, what would happen when it's within inside the main page workflow it's not going to stick to the edge of the page as you can see even though we have that button towards the left hand side of the page it stays within the main page workflow but if we move it outside of the main page workflow outside of this gray line here that surrounds our main page workflow content it's going to make that object stick to the side of the page if we place it out on the left hand side of the page like I have it here so in other words if we have it on this side, it's going to be stuck to the left hand side. If we placed it all the way over to the right hand side of the page outside of the main page workflow, it would stick to the right side of the page. And that same concept applies to any part of the page. If we had it at the top here of our web page outside of the main page workflow, it's always going to stick to the top. OK, and if we had it you know, beneath the web page outside of the main page workflow, it's going to stick to the bottom. So let's go ahead and hit F5 to preview that. So you see that the buttons on the left hand side of our page, if we scroll up or down, it's going to stay fixed to the side of the web page rather than floating in the middle of the web page like we had before. OK, 
So hopefully you guys are starting to understand how to use the web sticky feature. And if you are, definitely don't forget to embed, comment, share, and subscribe and stay tuned for future videos. Also, if you would like to support our training videos, you can do so by going to our Patreon webpage and make a donation to help improve the quality and the frequency of our tutorials. Thanks again and have a great day.